So I've been asked to read on Eastman Kodak and Plow Corporation. These are two um, pharmaceutical companies who, well, Eastman Kodak also has a technology side, but they are pharmaceutical companies that have been given money from by the federal gov from the federal government to make pharmaceuticals to deal with COVID-19. And so I'm just going to do a general reading on both of them. I'm going to do Eastman Kodak first. They are getting a $765 million loan to make pharmaceuticals for COVID. So let's look at Eastman Kodak. What do we need to know about Eastman Kodak? Let's see, Eastman Kodak. In the center, page of wands. Page of wands. New information, curiosity. New knowledge. This may be um, th whatever this new pharmaceutical is that they're working on. Could be new people also coming in to work on it, is what I'm getting. And crossed by the Ace of Swords, victory. Um, their challenge is to actually come up with some kind of a breakthrough. That's what their goal, that's what their challenge is, to have some kind of a breakthrough or for it to work, whatever it is, I don't know what they're working on or what they've been given money for exactly. Underneath it all, the five of swords. Hmm. The five of swords is about um, winning at all costs. It can be about bullying. It can be um, about some sort of unfairness. Let's see. In the past, the ten of cups. In the past, there was happiness and joy in relationships there let's see above six of coins there's the money there's the this is charity here's the money from the government okay that's the money from the government they've gotten to develop this pharmaceutical whatever it is underneath it all there's some kind of arguing or there's some kind of there's something something unfair there uh, near future seven of cups daydreaming illusions can be creativity this is like being mis misguided sometimes um in the u position the sun that's very positive abundance growth let's see surrounding that the pope or the hierophant that's the government. That is the rules, following the rules. They must be very rule oriented at that place. At Eastman Kodak, very rules based. And that's what's brought them this um, abundance. There's some, there's some mystery here though. Let's see, hopes and fears, wheel of fortune. I don't know um, how Eastman Kodak has been doing, but maybe they're hoping that this will change their fortune in some way to the better, I'm sure. That's what they're hoping for better fortune for the company. Outcome, three of cups, um, a celebration. So this, 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 create, this card here, the seven of cups can be, um, can be wishy-washy, but it can be very creative. It can be very, a very intuitive type having to make, you know, use your intuition to make choices or just having a lot of choices, trying to decide which direction to go. But I mean, you got the three of cups here. That's real good for everybody at that company. That's everybody there being happy. So I think 
despite this fighting, this, this inequality down here, um, it looks like they're going to loosen up a little bit, maybe even loosen up some of these strict rules that they usually follow, and it's going to end up being uh, successful for them. So that's Eastman Kodak. So that looks good for them. And let's look at Plow. They got a grant for 812 million. Show me what we need to know about Plow. What do we need to know about Plow? What do we need to know about Plow? In the center, Queen of Coins. They know how to make the money. They know how to use their resources wisely. Um, crossed by the Queen of Cups. Um, the Queen of Cups is actually a good energy. Usually it's a motherly energy. It's a health-related energy. It's compassion. Maybe they, their obstacle is to be more compassionate in some way. More caring. Underneath it all, Ten of Cups. There's a lot of happiness and joy there. A lot of fulfillment. So, a good, good relationships. In the past, the Five of Coins. Oh, so in the past, it looks like they so have been um, suffering some kind of loss. of some kind. Let's see. This shows a courting for some reason in there, which is interesting. Above it all, the Four of Cups, apathy, not being happy with an offer. Maybe they, they have a $812 million grant. Um, this could also be some sort of contemplation. Let's see. In the near future, Knight of Wands, travel adventure, risk taking. Let's see. In the position, Eight of Coins, there's the hard work. There's the hard work. This can also be education, um, work, getting skilled at a craft. So let's see, surrounded by justice, karma, doing fairness, equality. Hmm. It looks like, um, you know, I'm just going to say it. With this feminine queen of cups here and this a kind of equality being in the... I don't know if there's an issue there with, uh, with a, a woman being treated unfairly in some way. Like an important... somebody important. Um, hopes and fears. Eight of wands. Hoping to have success quickly. And the outcome. The lovers. A partner. Oh! Um, a commitment. 